Hello everybody and welcome back to Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. This is episode 7. Today we're going to Alma Moon as well as uh, exploring well, everything over there I guess. Um, this is where everything gets a lot larger. Um, Alma Moon's there. Alright. Right then, Ollie boy, I reckon there's some proper nasty monsters around by here. Don't try to be a hard man and take them all on. Just hurry up and get to Alma Al Moon, ain't it? So yeah, these enemies are actually really tough, so we want to try to avoid them as much as possible. Uh, luckily the skeleton, I think, is really slow. That's a boar, so we'll be fine. Now, these things that we're coming up on are not nice to get caught by. Because they run, like, um, really fast. As well as these purple little bandits. I kind of forgot the cool but there's someone like that. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I meant. Yes! Oh, okay, so we got Green Buncher and Bonehead. Now, both of these, I, I really want the Green Buncher to be honest. Uh, I don't know, I just find him, looks, he looks so cool. Uh, Skeleton I'm pretty sure is pretty good too. So that'll probably be another one I want to get. Anyway, we should probably not... Yeah, I was about to use a really... That would have been bad if I was caught. Ow! We won. You did it. All right. Anyway, that was one medal. Um, we got these little yellow flower things as well. They're really fast, just like a purple thing. Um, we got like a literal sun monster. Those aren't really uh, nice to go. Um, I'm pretty sure they aren't too fast. I'm trying to make him chase me, but okay. And I think that's about all the enemies. Oh no, there's one. There's one more, but I don't think they spawn down the southeast, uh, southwest. I think they spawn in the east area. At least that's where I always find them. I know we're coming out to Alma Moon. Ah, oh, there's just a little. Kind of seems so weird, man. There's just there's only greenery here. Alma Moon, court of the Khalifa. Here we are, Alma Moon. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's different from Ding Dong Dell, huh? Well, of course it flipping is. It's slap bang in the middle of the desert for a start. Mmm. What's that delicious smell? That's the babanas, isn't it? Babanas are what Alma Moon's famous for, see? Never eaten a fruit like it. Gorgeous they are. Tell you what, I'm starving. Fancy a babana split? Really? They're that good, huh? Wow. Too flipping right they are. This place was built on the Babana trade. There's tasty fruit. Okay, let's try some. Before we go Babanas though, we should try and find this Rashad, ain't it? That's what we came for after all. Came here for after all. You're right, we should ask around and find out if anyone knows him. Uh, well, I already know where he is, but uh... Uh, excuse me sir, do you know where I can find the Great Sage Rashad? The Great Sage Rashad? It is a long time since you're cool by that name. These days, you'd be better to ask after Rashad, seller of bananas. Oh, we can get some banana bananas. He's not a stage anymore. Yeah. All right, let's quickly go in here. This is the weapon shop. This is always what I should do first. But there's nothing in here. Well, c c oh wait. Okay, never mind. I thought he was about to say I can't meet you. Alright. That's good. We'll get that because that's better than the other one. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's get it. And we'll get that for Mighty. 
There's a lot of money I'm spending right now. Uh, thanks for the new weapons. Um, we're going to go to the left now. Our left. I think there's, yeah, just over here. Oh, this dude right here will become very important. Not very important, but I mean, he, he's going to give us a quest, pretty much. And here's the, uh, inn. Pretty sure there's stuff in here, too. Yeah, over there. Not really sure if we can... Ooh, salted ice cream. Wait. Okay, wait, yeah. Uh, wait, what? Anyway. Oh, wait, shit, maybe I should have. Okay, cover strong. Ah, uh, that's just a better version of the ice tea, whatever it's called. Restores 30, uh, 30 MP. Ah, uh, this is the Swift Solutions. Uh, we might have bounties in here. I don't. No, wait, you know, they're out quest, right? No bounty on so. Anyway. We'll be going out to the Great Shard first, uh, soon. The item shop for anything. I think you come back here for a quest later anyway, so, you know, this is good. Okay. I'm guessing they sell strong coffee. Yep. Oh, okay, so we got Phoenix here. Um. Okay, well, actually, wait, we already. So, yeah, these two right here. I couldn't. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that they're important. Like, who wears clothes like that? It's a tragedy, how am I put it? Ah! Sure. That would explain why we have. Oh, more rain boneheads. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to kill like 10 of those, I think. Ah, oh, I missed. Ah, oh, fool. Okay. But since we were. Okay, yeah. He's missing some enthusiasm. The traveling merchants, so uh, we had to cure him. He seems pretty important, man. We gotta heal him. Oh, yeah, we get bonuses from time to time, by the way. Yeah, okay, she's got enthusiasm, as you can tell. We have other things we can take anyway. Um, we'll do the other side quest later on. Let's just get this area done with today. Excuse me, are you Mr. Rashad? Yes, I am. Mr. Rashad, sir, I need you to teach me magic. I need you to teach me the most powerful spells there are. So I can defeat Shadar. Defeat Shadar? You? Yes, sir. Your journey has been wasted. I no longer practice the magic arts. Huh? But why not? I thought you were one of the four great sages who knows everything there is to know about magic. It matters not what I was. I use magic no more. Is she... What do you want? Who are you? Jeebus. The poor thing's broken hearted, looks like. <sighs> Shudar stole a piece of her heart. It was my fault. I defied him, and to punish me, he did this. That is why I fight no longer. I cannot risk my child's life. I will not. We must accept our fate and live out our days in peace. Mr. Rashad, sir, you're wrong. She wouldn't want this. <clears throat> She's not in pain because a piece of her heart was stolen. It's because you gave up fighting. Because you gave up on everything. That's why she's in pain. 
Hmm. You are sure of this? Yes, I am. I see. I see now that you would say anything to enlist my aid. Huh? Be gone! You're making a mistake. I wasn't trying to... Well, he wasn't wrong. It looks like Shadar's stolen a part of the poor Dab's heart. Then we have to help her. We have to make her heart whole again. Nah, looks like I said this is different. Huh? Her heart's not just broken, it's closed. Close? What does that mean? It's like this, see? She's not just had a part of her heart stolen, she's closed it up tight too, to keep the rest safe like. So, before we can think about replacing what's missing, we'll have to open it back up again, innit? And how do we do that? We go to your world. If we find whoever she's connected to by there, we can work out what's going on with her by here. So, we head over you away and find her soulmate. Alright, let's do it. Right, though. Back to your world it is. Alrighty. So, good our mission, guys. And yes, I am gonna go sleep at the end. I kind of forgot to do that earlier. Uh, there's a reason why I'm doing it. Uh, you'll soon figure it out. The Summerland South. So that sound check is so good, man. That one specifically. So we just start the search. Yeah, it makes sense, Oliver. I don't talk to women either. I mean, girls. By the way, I do know who it is, and you guys all know him. Know her, I mean. From the first episode. Episode zero. Man, this place is so similar. So familiar. Oh my god. Yeah, let's just go barge into her room. I get it's for like a greater purpose, but like, I don't think you can just do that, Drippy. I don't think you can just storm in there, just storm the house. Oh, this house is actually important later, too. Hmm? It's no good, there's no answer. Something the matter, dear? There's nobody home, you know. How do you use it? Myrtles? Okay, whatever. It must be Myrtles. I don't know, man. Names are weird. Oh, just between you and I, things have been going well. Oh, how come? Her father. Keyword. Uh, works every hour of every single day. Nothing but work, work, work. He's never at home anymore. Such a shame. Rusty was always such a devoted father. Hmm. Rusty, you say? Billy sounds like a nice person. Just how lucky he is. <laughs> yeah. But it all seems so familiar. Except for the mother bit. Um, I, I don't... I don't think she's alive. In the other world. That's justification, yep. You can justify breaking and entering. Anyway, we need to use spring lock because, um, the door's... Yeah. Yeah. Is an evil power protecting it? Spell didn't fail, it was repelled by a... That word... I feel like I know how to say it, but I just can't be bothered. Uh, what? Repelled? Jeepers. Must be the girl, in it? She's the soulmate of a sage's daughter, after all. Yeah, and she closed her heart. So maybe that extends to the whole house. Anyway. Uh, so our strategy is to go pester her father. Oh, or not. Yeah. All of it, all of it just seems so weird. Yeah, see? She unlocked the door for us. How nice. Yeah, just get in there. Hurry up. Alright, cutscene. Who 
Who are you? My name is Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Motorville. Just like you. I know. I've seen you. You have? Creepy. I'm sick. I can't leave this room. Even though it's not creepy. If I go outside, it hurts. How? So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. How do you get hurt? That's why they call us Steady Mary. Shh! Don't worry, man. No one can hear me but you. I can talk as loud as I want. Yes, that's why they call me Steady Mary. Huh? Tricky. Can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? Uh, uh, I. I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? No, I, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. You should go before my father comes home. Uh. Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. I've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is wrong with her? Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone. Something still got a hold over the poor dab. Hmm. What is it? Oh, um, nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? Oh, this is Myrtle. Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. How does that sound? Oliver. You can't. Huh? My father won't allow it. You should leave. But Myrtle... Yeah, so it is Myrtle. That explains it. It's just spelled different. Let her feel that makes sense. A lot of names are like that. Even though they're spelled in a weird way, they still are said a certain way. Just like how there's like fucking ten different versions of Aiden. Uh, Myrtle and start the same person, yep. But she ain't broken hearted. Yeah, it's her parents. This must the this here must be Rusty's garage. I've got a bad feeling in my landed about this. You'd best make you uh, make sure you're good and ready before you go in. Uh, and that is exactly why I healed. You know, I only just realized I unlocked Smash at A. When did I unlock that? I feel like I did not get a notification. There we go, let's go in. He looks ominous. Purple mist coming out and everything. A Myrtle saw. Can't you see I'm busy? Beat it, kid. Nah, can't be. Such a nice lady. No, this again. I'm not hungry. Oh, wow. How dare he? What a waste of a good lunch. Gosh, you should really eat that, man. It's some good stuff. You two, get out of here before I throw you out. But sir, we... Broken his head, Kassadas. He's broken hearted. He's heartbroken, but he's not from your world, Mr. Trippy. Let's worry about that later. For now, we need we know what the problem is. We need to mend Rusty's broken heart, ain't it? I guess we do. Yeah. A flippin' nightmare? Now we're for it. Nah, man, much worse. A nightmare is an evil spirit that latches onto the broken hearted. See that black, misty stuff? That's how you know. Knickers, the mist is getting darker. That can only mean one. That can mean only one thing, and it ain't good news. Void of 
kindness. That's the next heart, piece of heart we're getting. Anyway, this guy is bad news. Um, that's why I equip stuff. Yeah, uh, get used to seeing these guys in different forms and shit because they're a consistent enemy in the game, pretty much. Or consistent boss, should I say? Uh, they all take different forms. Um, except for like enthusiasm, I'm pretty sure. It, oh fuck, that's right. Pretty sure they all take different forms of shit. Oh shit! Get out! They all have different magic and shit. Well, their magic is similar, but different. Okay. Oh shit, that's what I should have bought when I was in Alma. Anyway. Um, I maybe I should just... I'm just gonna stay back and try to... Come over here real quick. There we go, cancelled him out. Go out of Mal. Because you're much faster at attacking. You know, it's a sad thing I don't know, uh, fucking... Sad thing I don't know the Fairy's ability. But I'm pretty sure it's a heal one, so we would probably not use it. I can not get into it. Boom! He's... Down for the count. Nito! Yeah, good work, Oliver. Everyone got to level up. That's some good. That was a good battle. And Betty came back, meeting his heart's a whole nother problem. Uh, Mr. Drippy, these nightmares—just what are they? Well, they're sort of like beasties, only they're born from broken hearts, and they latch onto them and sort of possess them, see? And Shadar... Shadar's behind the nightmares too. Look at him, all boy. Oli boy, him and Rashad are like peas from the same pod, and it... What Shadar's done is, he's got the better of Shad over in our world by taking his soulmate over by here in your world. And kindness, yep. That's why the nightmare was called Void of Kindness. So yeah, she's got the kindness we're looking for, which makes sense, because... Well, if you heard her story, then yeah, it makes sense. Do you even really need to ask, to be honest? Like, they don't even understand what's going on anyway. They they don't have magic in this world, Oliver. Like, it's just the kind of person he is. Unless I missed something. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this will fix the family for good. And also, this unlocks way more quests now. Obviously. Mm, what are you doing? So we just leave them to do their thing, and we go back to Myrtle's house. And yes, everything does get solved, by the way. Obviously. <sighs> Oliver! What is it? Well... Uh... If my father sees you, he'll... Myrtle! Come with me! Huh? You can go outside now. You're not sick anymore. I... I can't, Oliver. Just thinking about going out there gives me goosebumps. Myrtle. Oh. Go 
on out and play, Myrtle. But... Father... Sweetheart, I am so sorry. I don't know what happened to me. I wasn't there when you were sick, when you needed me, and I was fighting with your mother the whole time. I guess... Maybe the thing that was keeping you closed up in here... Maybe it was me. Father... You were scared somewhere deep down that if you went away, even for a little while, your mother and I would lose the one thing keeping us together. That we, we wouldn't be a family anymore. I'm right, aren't I? That's why you... Why you were... Something deep inside you wouldn't let you leave the house. Father, I... It's all right, sweetheart. Your mother and I, it's gonna be okay. Father! Please, Myrtle. Please forgive me. Oh, I do. Daddy, I do. Are those tears, Bunton? Huh? No, they're not. So much for you being honest. Uh, Oliver? Hmm? I'm going to try. I'm going to go outside. Will you come with me? Roto. No. <laughs> Oh my god, it's such an achievement. Brittle! I did it! Oliver, I did it! I'm outside! I'm outside! You're way too excited about this. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> At least Drippy's serious now. <sighs> Oliver, thank you so much! Yay. So happy for you, Myrtle. Ooh, courage! She does, huh? Mr. Drippy, there's someone on Alma Moon who'd really use some of that courage. Nice no, thinking, Ollie boy. I drop. <laughs> and then plunge that knife into her. And take that piece of heart. Right, oh, Ollie boy, we got some courage to deliver, ain't it? Let's get going. Yep, see ya, Myrtle. Thanks for your help. And also not help. It's kind of weird how this works. And we're about to wrap this up real soon. Alright, we're gonna fix her. What is this? Where am I? What happened? It was Shadar. He stole a piece of your heart. My heart? Is it you, Esther? Is it really you? Oh, my dear daughter. The star. Father. Oh, forgive me, my child. <laughs> <laughs> you were robbed of your courage. But I... I have only myself to blame for the loss of my heart. Oliver, it is you who taught me this. You have my thanks. You're welcome, Mr. Rashad. I will join you in the fight against Shudar. The day will soon come when the clarion rings out across the land once more. The clarion? Oh, it's an old story from way back, that is. Back when the world was at peace, like. The three kings of our world combined their skills and knowledge to create a flute that symbolized the great peace. The sound of this flute came to represent the unity of the nations of the world. How long is it now since the call of the clarion was heard? Not since the three kings got into a right old potch and fell out, I heard. It's up 
to us, the clarion will ring out again and we will be the ones to play it. <laughs> Very well, Doctor. Let us do our best. Let us help Oliver in his fight. Thank you so much, Mr. Rashad, sir. Anyway, uh, yeah. This is Esther. 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 Anyway. And she is a familiar just like us. He's, um, interesting. Interesting, familiar. Um, anyway. Anyway, Esther and her familiar will be joining us. Ooh, he's gonna give us some. Oh, he's got a puppet string for us? Oh, that's good. That's useful for the next thing. Um, secret ingredient, I kind of forgot what that does. Magic li lamp, uh, just, I'm pretty sure it's just a light torch spell, pretty much. Pulse, that's like, a kind of a wind move. It's another, like, fireball frostbite move kind of thing. The four great sages cannot overcome the dark gem. The trials of the sages. So that's our entire next video plan. In the north of the desert at the Temple of Trials. The Temple of Trials, you mean? I do. The home of the Supreme Sta Sage, Master of Familiars. You too are much to learn as You please see now permitted to open the doors of the temple. I will accompany you. Rashad is now traveling with us. Anyway. So here we've got our second party member. There's another two more to go. Uh, so go go. He's very useful actually. Um. All right, yeah. I can't switch around familiar just yet. Uh, she's got a heart for her weapon. Uh, this is very important. Very soon, actually, we'll get told that very soon. No, we'll get told it in the next episode, and uh, at the end of the trials. Uh, Gogo's um. A good familiar for the most part, I'm pretty sure. Well, it's not a bad start on. Yeah, you don't jack shit for you. Um, Esther's good. She's our healer, I guess. She's probably she's our buffer. Oliver's more attack based, I guess. Like spell based. Spell. Offensive magic. Support magic. Boom. And then our third party member is kind of. Uh, he, he's interesting. There's a lot more to do now. But, um, we're not gonna do jack shit here. We're gonna save all of this for. Uh, not next episode, but the one after that. Because I think that's a perfect time to do it. Anyway, let's go rest up at the end. So yeah, that's all for today's video of Nido Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.